All right, Shadow Scout 0013 here reporting in, and I'm going to give another list build for today. Um, we're going to go with Empire again, and I haven't used Krennic yet, so we're going to go with Krennic um, and his Entourage. And so we're going to try to see what we can do with Director Orson Krennic. He's going to have Compel, which is very, very awesome, because after, and it's just anybody. It's not like Vader's only uh, compelling core. This is just another friendly unit at range one to two, if they rally, if they're suppressed but not panicked, meaning that if they've got courage, um, you know, one, and they're within the courage bubble, they have a suppression, they're not panicked, uh, but they do have that one suppression um, because it's not equal to or double, um, they can give themselves suppression token to make a free move action, which is great for shores, or, or sorry, uh, snows, really good for snows, um, but not bad for any, any everybody else. Um, and so we're going to go with him and he deals a lot of suppression. So strict orders would be pretty awesome just in case they've got a little bit too much suppression. And then, um, he's kind of useless as a support unit. So I'm going to give him something that he can try to do to help support people because he's got a pretty short range gun it's range one to two. It's a single rainbow pierce. It's okay. It's good. It surges to crit, which is awesome but he's pretty squishy with a white dice. Uh, so we want to kind of keep him hidden. And so he's going to have Imperial Death Troopers. So who doesn't like Imperial Death Troopers? Discipline. So anytime they're issued in order, they can remove up to one suppression. So basically with uh, Director Krennic and his entourage, right? Um, Imperial Death Troopers, at the start of activation, he can just give an activation or a, an order token to an Imperial Death Trooper. Uh, so they're already going to get that uh, suppression taken off if they wanted to. And then with the strict orders, they can take a second one just in case you get too much. They got precise two, which means they can reroll up to two additional dice. So they're rerolling four dice uh, and then ready one. So anytime they perform a standby, they get a free aim. Awesome. Uh, I, I like the fact that that range one to three, they've got a black range one to two. They got two white still surging a red dice that also surges to defense and then a red in melee. So I think that they're really good um and since that uh one of them will not count towards your special forces uh count because of the entourage let's just do an extra one um one of them will be equipped with the dlt and then the other one as not only for a cheaper option but for also the compel um i think that that is going to be the other theme of this okay is compel um I'm going to give them their free upgrades, but also because they're targeted quite a lot because of how strong they are, I don't want to do too much upgrading to them. So we're going to keep them there. Um, and then since those two don't count, since one of those don't count, we can add two more special forces. And I'm going to go with the Imperial Special Forces, which has Infiltrate, Marksman, and then Reliable One. Um, surging to hit, they've got red defense dice still, but they're going to have a surge to... Uh, defense, which is again, I mean, a lot better, at least for once, a lot better than not surging defense at all. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, two of them. One of them, I'm going to go with Gideon because he's going to be a leader. They're going to have courage three because you're also going to increase your courage by one. And with compel, it will be a lot easier to compel this special forces unit with um, Gideon. Now, Gideon, it, since you want it, if you wanted to, you don't have to, you know, stack all your people here in, in one, um, but it's going to cost you a lot more. It's going to be eventually uh, a little bit more expensive to have more units if you put uh, Gideon on a core unit and then put a 27.21 T trooper on here. So for the time being, just to be able to compel a really good unit to move and not ever be suppressed, I'm going to go with Gideon. Um, and then offensive push. I feel like right now that's uh, with infiltrate and with everything else, let's just go with that. If you wanted to, I think endurance would also be fine just in case, um, because of compel and because of courage three, you kind of want to put some suppression on them to be able to move, move, like move, uh, or move, move, and then fire, uh, just in case, uh, and with dice fixing, uh, with that offensive push, that'd be awesome. Um, and then we're going to go with, again, one more and give us four special units or sport, four special forces. Uh, we're going to equip the T21 on here, uh, offensive push for sure. And then, you know, endurance 
uh, because they're going to want it. And then we've got our just core units. Let's go with uh, some snows because they've been doing really well in tournaments as well. We're going to go with the flamethrower with blast uh, to ignore cover and spray. So it's a, a black dice for each one of them. Um, usually they take the extra snow trooper for the extra cushiness to keep the flamer and then uh, fragment grenades. So that way when they get close enough, because the flame trooper has to get close enough, you can split fire if you needed to. So you could do like if you had a full trooper or a full unit of per se uh, droids, you're shooting six black and then the other four can do four uh, red. So 10 dice searching to crit. I think that that's pretty fantastic. So boom, and we'll do two of those just for the sake of it. And then because of compel, I do want an extra shore trooper. Um, you can, but since we're short on activations, I'll kind of want to add a few more um, core. So we're at 10 activations. We've got about 21 points left to do with whatever we want. Um, and then, so my thinking is because we're going to have, um, we're going to have suppression because of compel. I would, I think an Imperial officer would inspire one uh, and another increase in courage to courage two is going to be great for this stormtrooper um, uh, unit. But then you, that leaves you with two naked to kind of like do what you need to if you wanted to. Compel is also good um, for all of this. But the main thing is that you've got four special forces that are pretty cool. Uh, you've got your DTF-16 to compel your Imperial Special Forces, Imperial Special Forces, your Snow Troopers if possible, and then the Stormtrooper right here with the extra uh, Imperial Officer for Courage 2. You've got a Courage 3, so if in case the uh, Director Krennic does die and you do, you do need to dominate someone, you do have an Imperial Special Forces, that's Courage 3. If you really, really wanted to, you could probably, probably, um, you know, take off a Snow Trooper unit and put another naked one and then um, put Gideon somewhere, but it, the, the points just doesn't really match up very well. Uh, if you wanted to, you don't have to do this. You don't have to have Endurance Endurance. Uh, on them, but it just is helpful. Um, you, basically, this this list is trying to get rid of as many tokens in the beginning, and then as many suppression tokens at the end, at least on the Imperial Special Forces, because at least if you were to give Death Troopers their orders, they could just automatically, you know, give themselves or take off a suppression. So it's kind of like already having not endurance, but strict orders for them. So they're going to be able to take away two just in case. So two suppression just in case if they had, uh, were both given an order. So this is great for getting rid of suppression and putting on suppression, or, or sorry, getting rid of suppression and then, yeah, putting on suppression to yourself so that you can do an extra move. Um, giving you 10 activations, four special forces units. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so if we go to command, um, avaricious uh, ambition would be perfect because at the start of the activation phase you can put three random order tokens from your order pool face down onto the card and then you can look at them at any time so basically you have an, um, not full order control like, but you do have you know, an understanding of where some stuff are uh, and then you know, at least Gideon can also coordinate so he's got uh, he can coordinate a core trooper so you, know, you can give your extra shores or your storm trooper with the imperial officer uh, in order uh, so we're gonna go with that one, uh, and then ambush. I think would be perfect. Um, deploy the garrison would be uh, imperative to your um, either special forces units uh, or your death troopers. So definitely uh, go with deploy the garrison because it's gonna give them a uh, free standby. Uh, which and if you put the standbys on the death troopers, they're gonna get aims. Um, so definitely, and then uh, you don't have any support or heavies, so you might as well go with push and then. Uh, coordinate fire would be great because uh, with those aim tokens, you can give those aim tokens to the Imperial Special Forces from your core, and then at least you have, uh, you know, orders on your snows and your Imperial officer to be able to give out that suppression or take off a suppression. Um, and then Annihilation Looms would uh, be pretty cool um, because then if you need to suppress them out, you can, but it's also pretty bad on you. But with strict orders and with endurance, being able to take off suppression in this list is pretty easy. Uh, for your special forces so this wouldn't be the worst and so uh, it's still you know three units but it has to be director cunning first um, and he's going to be able to give out an aim at least if you do go with him so he's not the most useless thing um, so yeah uh, i'm gonna go with assault just to be safe um, and so this doesn't have very many melee people um, and it doesn't have any it's got a few close range uh, and pretty far range stuff so you're 
you don't want to get too close. You don't want force users to be able to get too close. You want to be able to uh, fire them down as much as you can. And I think with, you know, dice fixing and with the death troopers being able to reroll four um, at range four is pretty good to begin with. So uh, recover the supplies to be perfect because infiltrate um, hostage exchange wouldn't be the worst because you have naked units and you have shores so they can move, move, and then everybody. Uh, bombing run will keep them on the run, but you don't really have the best uh, units for that. You don't have anything fast. Payload would be pretty good because of your Courage 3 and your Courage 2 um, almost everywhere. Um, and then let's see, that's three. We need one more. So um, intercept the transmissions wouldn't be the worst thing. Key positions would be pretty good because you can infiltrate. So that way, you know, them trying to hold on to something would be not that great or sabotage the moisture evaporators i always usually kind of default to and then for deployment you don't want anything close so long march i think would be pretty great major offensive would be pretty great um not danger close not necessarily hemmed in rollout wouldn't be the worst thing but you're giving their you know stuff an advantage uh advanced positions their their vehicles an advantage sorry and then um honestly i think that last one's up to you i'd probably go with battle lines just to be on the safe side. But all right, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, if you liked it, let me know because there's four special forces on here, which you can't usually do. Um, and for the Empire, they're pretty cheap. So, and they all surge to defense, at least for the special forces once. Um, and the Imperials, uh, for the Death Troopers do surge to defense with red. So they're, I mean, this is going to be a powerhouse just in itself with these four units that are pretty mobile too. And you've got some pretty good options of what to do with them. Um, and with four extra points, even if you did want to put an extra uh, offensive push on one of the death troopers, you could. But all right, guys, let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, so that you guys can, you know, do whatever you want to it. But go ahead, like, subscribe, and leave a comment below what you uh, would add, take away if you would have ever encountered this and the things that you did to it or how it slaughtered you. Just let me know. Uh, but all right, I will catch you guys in the next video.